You like a bit of Akadaka? I do like ACDC. ACDC. Yes. So just make sure people can hear it loud. You need this so loud. Oh yeah, maybe I'll even turn it up. Voltage Rock and Roll! <laughs> No wonder he died young, that kills his voice. Bon Scott. Anyway, hold on, I'll turn it down. It's like that fade out. That's great. Okay. <laughs> hey. What are we here for? Who are Ooh, we? I feel like it's been just a crazy, crazy day today. Only hours ago, we were in Sydney, Sydney for Mastermind, which was awesome. Anyway, it's Monday night, and that means we're in the presence of the Kimmy one. Uh, for Kim's top five. So it's really good that you can be here with us. Akadaka, why are we listening to high voltage rock and roll? It was the only song you could find that had anything to do with frequency. And yeah, do you know how many songs there are about frequency? I could only find one and I'd never heard it before. So there you go. But tonight, Kim's top five, we are talking about frequency. Yeah. Which I have to confess is a topic that I really don't know very much about. So fortunately, you do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we're really here tonight to debunk some myths. Yeah. Okay. So Jeremy and I have a lot of conversations about energy work, and you know, he thinks I'm the hippie woo woo, and I'm like, she well, is the hippie -woo -woo. you know what? You believe in prayer and you know some higher power, like. You know, and yet my woo-woo, energy healing, Reiki, healing touch, essential oils, all of that kind of stuff. Is at least as woo-woo as mine. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of the perfect couple. I mean, exactly. you know. And I, do you know if you want to really get in touch with a higher power? Fork PowerPoint. <laughs> You'll know all about high voltage. Anyway, sorry, that's don't try that at home, children. If you're watching. So... so so start us off. We've got, we've got a top five. Are you going to give us a little background on yeah, this whole yeah. thing? Yeah, good. yeah. Good. So frequency is literally just the vibration of atoms yeah. in living things. So we all have atoms and, um, and they vibrate and therefore that creates an energy um, and, and we call that frequency. So in terms of sound and light, we can, we can see that, we can hear that, or we can hear some sound. That's why when you hear, a, you know, when like we mightn't hear a dog whistle, but that doesn't mean that dogs can't hear dog whistles. Um, yeah. It's just that it's too, it's out of our hearing range for us to hear. And um, so can I put it in context? Can I be a little scientific? So the the frequency spectrum starts, it goes low. So and like if you hear a bass guitar, like the bass guitar that we heard in Akadaka, the, the bottom note on a bass guitar is 21 hertz. So that means 21 vibrations a second. So that's, you know, that's not many vibrations a second. So and that's about the lowest, that's getting towards the lowest that we as human beings can hear audibly. Um, you can go up to about 20,000 hertz, and that's about the limit of our hearing. But then dogs can hear up to about 100,000 hertz, um, and then the frequency range goes, it keeps going up and up. So, yeah, so light yeah. Um, has a frequency, which literally means that it vibrates yep. um, at a certain amount per second. And yep. in terms of essential oils, um, it's believed that they vibrate or os what we call oscillate um, at a million times per second okay so I guess what we want to do tonight is to talk about um, where the idea of frequency comes from with essential oils and to talk about what I believe um, you know happens as far as our frequency of essential oils go so I'll give you a little bit of history because um, we want to get down to the nitty-gritty don't we yeah I mean, and we don't it's great, guys... to, it's great to talk about all this stuff, but how does it actually apply? Because that's what Kim's top five is always all about, isn't it? How, what are the top five things that you can apply to make your life better, really? And we don't want you going out there and sharing sort of misinformation and that kind yeah. of stuff. So we wanted to debunk some myths. So I guess the first myth is around um, can you measure frequency, okay? Now, 
If you do any good Google search on the internet, you'll actually find out that there was a guy called Bruce Tanio, and he was supposedly a, I think he worked for NASA or something like that, scientist. He worked for some universities and stuff like that, and he supposedly developed this piece of machinery that was able to measure um, essential oil, oh, well, measure frequency, frequency in general. So yeah. frequency of the body, frequency of herbs, um, you know, what frequency diseases, all of that kind of thing happen at. Um, however, once again, if you do a quick Google search, you'll actually find out that a lot of that information um, it has been disproven and, and is, um, you know, I guess, a, like if it was on Mythbusters, they'd say this myth is busted. busted yeah. Um, so I don't know whether you can measure frequency, okay? I'm not here to say whether you can or whether you can't. So can I interrupt? Yes. You can measure frequency. If we go back to the essential oil, essential oils are made up of a bunch of different chemical compounds and each of those molecules, so we're talking terpenes, sesquiterpenes, monosesquiterpenes, they each actually do vibrate at a very very high frequency as Kim said it's about a million million um, Hertz so tiny tiny vibrations were very rapid so you can measure this stuff but the controversial bit is just how that all applies to to what we're talking about isn't it es essential oils and we'd be kind of yeah we'd be kidding ourselves if we said there wasn't some controversy about that yeah. yeah, and you know anyone who goes away and you know starts looking into this stuff, you'll find a lot of these articles. So we're not going to sit here and, and tell you something that um, you know that has been disproven on the internet. So um, <laughs> I guess what we want there's wanted... a lot of stuff that's been disproven on the internet. But you've all heard of the book The Secret or the movie The Secret, and I guess for me, how I like to explain. Um, frequency is similar to the secret okay so in the secret the secret is all about how if you change your you know your words and your thought patterns and your habits and your beliefs and your mindset and all of that kind of stuff that um, positive things or obviously if you change it to negative mindset negative things Don't will be that. attracted to you it's kind of like magnets like a north pole and a south pole and um, you know two norths repel each other um, it's like the law of attraction so that energy that you yeah. um, put out there into the world attracts good or bad things are we and talking about the i word are you about to get that Intention. Intention. Okay. So I guess for me, even with essential oils, when um, like when you are looking at, at even buying an essential oil, what was the intention of the farmers who grew the essential oil? You know, were they having a good day or a bad day when they were, you know, are they, are they an ethical company? Are they doing sustainable practices? Are they creating a product, this particular product, this particular essential oil for a purpose or for profit, okay? Yeah. What is the background of the company? Was it started under ethical circumstances? Um, you know, what are the people like who work there? What are the people like, you know, who who sell and use the products? It all comes down to intention. Even when you use that bottle of essential oil, we were talking today about motivation. And when I use motivation, it's not necessarily like they suddenly put some energizer bunny inside this bottle of essential oil. Um, it, it has a lot to do with your intention. And if you are saying, wow, I'm going to use motivation, even if on a subconscious level, you are setting an intention because you are knowing that you are using motivation. Um, when I use an oil, and I'm going to talk about some today, I set intentions for using those oils. And therefore, that energy that I am getting out of the bottle, but also that energy that I'm mm. sort of setting in terms of the intention, yep. um, you know, that's what gets created. So it gets, you know, that's why I think it's very much like the, the secret, the movie, <laughs> and the law of attraction. So, yeah. um, you know, good things are attracted to, to good people. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about energy work as well. Like, so I mentioned before about Reiki and, um, you know, like even sound healing. So sound healing is all about energy work. Um, sound bowls have different frequencies. Uh, tuning forks have different frequencies. 
so if you do any of this work, um, emotional freedom technique, any of that kind of stuff, essential oils are a really, really good asset to that energy work because it's all about frequency and, mm -hmm. um, and how you can uplift a person's energy levels. Yeah, yeah. It, it reminds me of the band Milli Vanilli. You might remember them. I don't know why. <laughs> No, they were terrible, and I think they, oh, they should have. Lip -sync, they, they should have just been put out of their misery because there's sometimes when they need sound hit. Don't worry, keep going. <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right. So you want to make sure you're buying good essential oils. If you're buying cheap adulterated ones that have got synthetics in it, then they're not going to have a very high frequency. Yeah. So you know, it's basically like it's not going to affect you on an energetic level at all. If anything, it's probably going to, you know, lower your frequency or if you want, you can yeah. substitute the word for frequency to energy. It's yeah. going to lower that because it's not natural and it's out of harmony with nature. So um, when we talk about frequencies, uh, look, as I say, if you Google stuff on the internet, it will tell you that essential oils are between 52 and 580 or whatever. Megahertz. Megahertz hurts i i don't know whether that's true i don't know like as i said a lot of the stuff about bruce tanio has been disproven um but what i do know is that some essential oils affect you on a physical level and they're usually the ones that you'll find listed on the internet as low frequency oils okay so your basil your wintergreen um you know, or they're or cypress. Um, mm. They're all ones that are the lower end of the the spectrum, if you like, and they affect you much more on a physical level. If you want to use essential oils on an emotional level, then you choose ones that are in the middle range of the frequency um, table. Um, and name, this is name some names. What's okay. in the middle frequency? All right. Well, I've got. Um, what do I do with my list? Oh, it must be on the table. Okay. So I'll be right back. Um, lavender is is in the middle. Um, ylang ylang, geranium, all of those kinds of um, florally ones. Uh, tangerine. Um, they're they're your middle ones. And then if you want to look at using essential oils on a spiritual level, uh, you look at the higher ones. So you know frankincense is one forty seven. You've got rose. Um, right up there. And then the other part of this thing is that these days on the in, on the internet, you actually find um, that they say that blue cypress, uh, I think it was, it, see, this is where the information starts to become blurry because I, I think Bruce Tanio died before blue cypress was even a, um, and like, you know, tested as an oil. So, and it's rumored that the machinery was destroyed as a, like after he passed away and all that kind of stuff. So I actually don't even know how they tested blue cypress, who knows? And then Idaho blue spruce is said to be at 580. So, you know, it's all of this stuff is kind of like, I don't know whether it's true or not. But what I do know is that those oils that are frankincense and rose, um, helichrysum, they are all really good spiritual oils. And, and if I want my spirits to be uplifted and I want to feel a lot better and, yeah. um, and you know, generally if I'm having a bad day, I mean, who can smell rose without feeling a million dollars? Yeah. I mean... It's like love in a bottle, isn't if it? If it does nothing else for you but makes you feel yeah. better, who cares what its frequency is? Yeah. All right? Okay. That sounds good. So, have, have you got the five for us? Yes, but I can't now find the bit of paper that I wrote their frequencies on. So, oh, anyway. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's right. We're going to wing it. All right. So, let's start with um, frankincense. All right. So, frankincense, as I said before, 147. Okay. Okay. And wh when would you use frankincense? I mean, we've so talked frankincense... about spiritual, but it's not just for spiritual stuff, is it? Yeah, so frankincense is um, great for meditation, uh, especially good, um, you know, obviously for setting intentions. It's um, And also the other thing is that a lot of these oils are really good for your crown chakra um, and your third eye, uh, where, as opposed to um, some of the lower frequency and middle frequency oils. You know, the middle frequency oil, great for your heart. Um, yeah, don't rub them in your in your other two eyes because that no. always ends badly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next okay, so, one. So that's that's number five, frankincense. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. okay. Then helichrysum. Now, 
I don't know what we did with the bit of paper where I wrote them, but um, I, I'm thinking that Helichrysum is uh, around the 170 mark um, in, you know, 160, 170. So Helichrysum is, I'm actually going to the Helichrysum farm, well, we are going to the Helichrysum farm in You're Croatia. You're not leaving me behind. No, right. <laughs> um, it's commonly also known as the Everlasting Daisy, so another hot, quite high frequency oil. And where else would we use Helichrysum? Um, look, I, it's, well, I'm trying to think of compliant things to say about helichrysum. Maybe... Is it, could I say, is it, is it a bit like lavender on steroids in some ways? Well, it, it certainly is a really useful oil. It has yeah. a lot of different um, purposes. So I'd suggest that you go and do some research on yeah. helichrysum. It's yeah. kind of exotic and, and it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The next one is a blend. Okay. Oh, Danielle's just Googled helichrysum for us and it's 181. Okay. Thank you. The next one is joy. All right. So joy is a blend of 10 different essential oils. Um, but the reason I chose joy. Um, joy is because it actually contains rose which you know has one of the higher frequencies mm. um, regard you know regardless of the number or whatever it contains rose so if you can't afford rose then believe me joy is the next best thing I wear joy as a perfume I put it on my heart um, it's certainly a very good emotional oil as well as you know um, yeah You've got to work out what you want to use the oils for. As I say, there's no use using some of these oils that are emotional oils or spiritual oils if what you want to do is physical stuff. So yeah. <laughs> then you're better off using cypress or basil or marjoram or dill or fennel or whatever. So, yeah. But anyway. joy is going to uplift you. That's where I've used that in the staff room, the English staff room at school where I've been teaching. And the, the other teachers there love it. They said, in fact, one said at the end of the day, she said, my day has been so much better because of that. So there's a little bit of proof for you. All right. Number two is another blend and it's forgiveness. Okay. So the reason I chose forgiveness is that it is, well, I don't know, as I say, who knows the numbers, but really it's one of the highest frequency blends. Okay. Now, once again, it contains rose. Um, it also contains frankincense. Oh, it's got 15 different essential oils in it. Okay. Um, it does has, have sesame oil in it. So if you have a nut allergy, then don't use this one. Um, but it's got geranium, pedigreen, um, frankincense. It's got sandalwood, which is another high oil, angelica, lavender, um, Ylang Ylang, it's got helichrysum in it as well. You know, there's 15 different essential oils in this bottle alone. Um, now, the other thing is that I talked before about the importance of having good quality oils if you want to be using them on, you know, on an energetic level and for frequency and to uplift your spirits and all of that kind of stuff. But the other thing is that you want to make sure that the person who is um, blending these together knows yep. a little bit about this stuff because yep. you can actually blend oils like even if you were to put together all like if you chose the hot five highest frequency essential oils and put them together that doesn't mean that they're higher than the um the individual oils themselves like Danielle has just googled um the frequency of forgiveness and it's 192 megahertz but yet it's got rose in it and rose which you'll discover in a minute um you know regardless of whether you know you can test the numbers or not but it mm. is one of the highest frequency oils so when you bring it together it doesn't necessarily create a blend that is higher than the individual oils themselves um, but you definitely don't want to be creating a discord in any way and you know be out of harmony um, yeah. So forgiveness is my number two. Can we just talk, just go back, who created this blend? So D. Gary Young. And D. Gary Young did not just go, wow, here's a good bunch of oils, let's just throw them all willy-nilly, stir it around and let's call it forgiveness. How, I mean, can you talk about the process? Like how do you put this stuff together? So basically what he did, um, you know, he, I mean, he is a master, like, you know, his sense of smell is is unbelievable yeah. um, and there are a couple of ways that you can blend you can definitely blend on the chemistry of the essential oils so Jeremy mentioned before um, things like sesquiterpenes monoterpenes and phenols um, there's even ketones aldehydes all of those kinds of mm. things and to create the ideal blend you want to choose essential oils that have um, you know certain percentages of 
those particular elements yeah. and, and blend them together. But then there's also, um, you know, yeah. blending based on the perfume, uh, which is your, you know, your top notes, your middle notes, and your bottom notes. And once again, you include essential oils that have, um, you know, different top, middle and bottom notes yep. and you put in a different percentage of those and that creates the ideal blend. And the other way that you blend is using the I word. Intuition. In no, intention. <laughs> well, I was going to say that yeah. about um, forgiveness because yeah. when you actually use an oil like forgiveness, as I said before, when you're putting it on, even just by going, I, you know, you obviously want to use forgiveness for a particular purpose. So yeah. when you put it on, you know, using an, an affirmation or setting an intention. So for me, when I use forgiveness, I say that I forgive all those who have hurt me um, and I let go or release um, all that doesn't serve me. So you need to find your own intention for forgiveness. Yeah. Work out what why you're using forgiveness and what you need to forgive. Um, yeah. yeah. If there's a, ever a powerful intention to have in this world, it's... That one. Yeah. So we're up to, that's that's the first four. Number one, we've talked about it already, but... Rose. Rose. Okay. So, um, I mean, like just simply holding Rose in my hand. It's like... there's, there's something kind of, there's something so special about it, isn't there, really? Can't, you just cannot be yeah. Rose. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, so regardless of whether it's 320 degree, 320, 320 degrees, <laughs> yes, that's how hot it is in here, 320 <laughs> megahertz or, you know, 500, who knows whether you can me measure it or not, yeah. if I haven't said that enough already tonight, um, I believe that, that rose is a really high frequency oil. It definitely raises my spirits yeah. whenever I smell it. You think about what it's like to receive roses, to smell roses, to, you know, all of those things make you feel uplifted. And yeah. that's what Rose does. So that's why I think that Rose is my number one um, frequency oil. And that's why I've given yeah. it number one tonight. But as I say, you can go out, you can research and Blue Cypress and Idaho Blue Spruce, regardless of whether they're higher or not. For me, Rose is the best bet. Yeah. All right. right, that's my five. Okay, that's awesome. So do you want to quickly run through them again just okay. so that we, we've got them? So five was frankincense. Frankie. Four was helichrysum. Helichrysum. Um, three was joy. Love Two it. was forgiveness. And one was rose. Okay, so... Um, okay, <laughs> I'm scared because, you know... Can you just hold that for me for a sec? Sure, Jeremy. Now, Kim obviously is an expert in some stuff, but there's some stuff that she doesn't really know a great deal about. And as much as it was great to talk about your view on frequency, I just want to straighten things out a little bit because I'd like to talk about frequency too, the most important frequency of all. And I want to take you into the most intimate place that people go, the bedroom, frequency, okay? Now, I've talked to a bunch of people and what I've noticed is that when you start talking about frequency um, and you ask people, tell me about the frequency of your intimate interactions. Often people talk about tri-weekly. Um, but here's an interesting pattern I've noticed. Now, when you're first in a relationship and everything's going great, you say, how frequent? And people go, oh, uh, frequency, yes. But people would say, oh, tri-weekly. <laughs> But then as time goes on and children come and life gets a little bit more complicated, they may say something like this, frequency, we try weekly. And that's, that's not bad, there's nothing wrong with that. But then as you know, life goes on and things get complicated and maybe you get older, it, you end up about here where it's, we try weekly. <laughs> so, so what I wanna say is my top one is, as always, Shutran. And do you know why that is? Hold that, Because please. it's got Idaho blue spruce in it. It's, it's a got, high frequency oil. It's got Idaho blue spruce in it. And Shutran will increase your frequency. Nudge, nudge, <laughs> wink, wink. And on that note... <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> what can I say? We hope we've shed a little bit of light on frequency. And, um, you know, as an energy worker myself, I'm a big believer yeah. in frequency. I just don't know whether you can test it and whether you can believe the various rates of frequency that are listed for each essential oil out there on the um... Yeah, but you know the thing about it, okay? If we cut through all of that stuff, 
it, it, the oils work. The oils right? definitely they, work. They work at a physical level, they work at an emotional. emotional level, and they work at a spiritual level. And the, the proof is in the pudding with that, I think. So, thank you. Go out, use your oils, set your intentions, and let us know what you think. We would love to hear from you. As always, see you guys. We'll Bye. see you next m Monday. Monday. Monday.